thanks and hello everyone. My name is Dan Richardson. I'm a senior director at Mercatus, which is a technology firm that helps private market fund managers and investors trust their data, scale their team, and make better investment decisions. So the first takeaway that I really had from this webinar is that the data management problem in private markets and specifically within infrastructure has really gone from you know, a latent issue to a very active one. That's happened in a very short time frame. And what I mean by an active one is this is now a top priority for executives C-suite in 2021 to address if they haven't already done so. And there's really, I think, two different reasons for that. You know, the first is that the market has been trending in this direction for a long time. But a lot of, I think, the players in the space have been, you know, kind of willing to kick the can down the road. But, but the momentum's already been going in this direction. But what I think happened, you know, and specifically in the last 12 months is COVID was just a massive accelerator for the growing importance of data within infrastructure. There's an executive that I work with who always likes to give a, a ducks on the pond analogy. And what they mean by that is if you think a duck, about a duck on a pond, you know, it's, it's gliding along really smoothly. That's kind of the view that executives have, right? They, they get the information they need kind of when they need it. They get their questions answered. What they don't understand is how hard the feet are kicking to make everything happen underneath the surface and also really just how much risk there is when all this data lives across people, spreadsheets. But ultimately, when you know, COVID hit, all of the sudden demands went through the roof for speed, accessibility of information. And now that problem became very real to executives and their clients who all of a sudden realized that they couldn't get quality answers to the questions that they were asking at the speed that they ultimately needed. A second big takeaway for me just listening to the participants of this webinar talk was that market volatility has increased just across the board, across the sector, but the impacts have been very different depending on the asset classes that a fund manager and the investors are specifically focused on. For example, transportation, social infrastructure was impacted one way and, and pretty heavily. Renewables were also impacted, but very, very differently. And then even within these different asset classes, it really comes down to you know, the revenue structure, the contracting structure. And again, to give the same example, let's say you have a, a P3 transportation asset with an availability-based contract. Generally speaking, even though that asset wasn't performing well on the ground, from a fund manager standpoint, you, know, you were still getting the cash flow and the revenue that you were ultimately looking for, again, depending on how that contract was structured. Renewables, on the other hand, generally performed very, very well, but there was a segment of these assets in these portfolios which had a lot of merchant exposure, which did cause a lot more active management, a lot more concern around, you know, what are these commodities really worth in the market, especially, you know, on the tail end of the assets life cycle. And ultimately, you know, do we have the right balance across our portfolio? One of the other things that I, I just wanted to conclude with here is, what we see and what I took away from this is there's three big lingering challenges that executives are thinking about when it comes to data management. The first is real asset portfolios and specifically infrastructure are necessarily heterogeneous. Um, I think Robert made a really good point here that, you know, again, just because these assets are so diverse, naturally data management in this sector is uniquely challenging and that's not necessarily going to go away. A second big challenge is the lack of standardization in terms of what data should be collected, how it should be reported. Again, all of this I think is moving in the right direction, but there's lots of room for it to improve. And some of this is gonna be an ongoing conversation between fund managers and their investors, certainly over the next 12 months, but on an ongoing basis. And then third, there's just a challenge in terms of getting the raw data out of the portfolio companies. Again, I think Robert made a really good point here that there's always going to be some brute force required to that. Technology will improve this, but it's really hard to say that it will ever fully solve this problem. And so, again, I think that's one aspect that, you know, the market's going to continue to just be thoughtful about as they approach data management technology. But, you know, the needs of more real-time information as a whole.